Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back again to the Specialized Automations. So today in this video, we'll be seeing how we can implement the hash map in Java properties file. Okay. So in my earlier videos, I've already discussed how we can read the properties file in three different ways. The link is given above. And in this video, we'll be specifically looking into it, implementing using hash map. So let's get started. For the agenda, we will be implementing hash map of properties file in Selitum. So let me take it to my clips. So this is the sample properties file. As I already written, this file contains all necessary properties for application level and project level. So as a guy, you can see that application URL, testing parameters, data sheet locations, location of extent, HTML reporting, screenshots, and JSON files. So depending on your project, whatever the different different path you will be using, parameters you will be provided depends on some other project whoever is uh, using this approach uh, keeping the local and single properties file for each and every page wise they can also utilize this approach to build their framework okay so properties file basically will be like app level properties and project level properties that we need to con uh, consider uh, in my earlier videos that i've shown that if you design the properties file this way and if you want to face the value like for you are fetching the url you need to pass that url if you want to face the browser then after loading you have to get property that get property browser but same for data sheet location also we are fetching property in data sheet locations but uh, if your uh, parameters in properties file got huge uh, then it's really headache for us to implement each and every method to return the value right so why not considering it as a hash map and implementing using hash map and get the value okay so for that, I have created one class that app configuration class inside the two methods I've taken. The static void method and main method is showing you the example that it's working or not. And then you will be able to apply it on your class level. So suppose this is the application that properties file. Uh, let me take you to my class first. Okay, so this first method of returning on the map string and string. You can also turn the value object and object. Always remember that uh, property style is a you can implement it as a hash table that only takes input as an object of it. Okay, so for my case, I have also considered as a string value of input and the value also string. So loading the properties value in strike and try block, and if any exceptions, I'm fetching it catch block, and then I'm iterating over using the entry operator uh, for this properties file and map dot put I'm putting the gate uh, key gate key and the gate value corresponding this key value and value i'm putting and returning the map so if you use this first method so you can simply do app configuration dot gate config dot get uh, you have to pass this corresponding parameter but suppose you do not want to do that you can also pass as a key, in key as a string so the second method i'm passing the parameter as a key string so see if map that contains key equal to true that if this particular value true then it will return only the value the value how you can get return map dot get key this is the value it's returning okay so suppose for this uh, case explicit weight i'm taking example okay and extend configuration xml path so let me quickly run this program okay so we can see that is successfully getting printed okay so we are able to read the values from the properties file successfully providing two methods you need to you can implement get config dot get xml and this is the approach you have to use and in your test environment you have to pass this way application or get browser inside that you have to browser whatever the way you want to do that okay these are two methods of written keep the part as of now okay so guys that's all for today like uh, now you have seen that uh, how we can easily implement this uh, properties file load this properties file and return the part corresponding hash map or map uh, from this properties so first method of returning only these values and second method passing the parameters okay so if you like this video please do not forget to support and subscribe my channel and if you have any questions please do let me know thank you everyone bye bye